Today's episode of Daily Scuba News is sponsored by Paralens. If you fancy winning yourself a Paralens Plus dive camera, all you have to do is follow the link pinned in the comments. Competition closes on March 15, 2019 and is open to UK residents only. Terms and conditions apply. Okay, so the first time I ever watched 47 meters down, don't watch it, it's terrible, uh, I laughed at many of the many inaccuracies, including the digital SPGs. Because apart from newer tech a few years ago, I couldn't really think of a digital submersible pressure gauge. They're all analog. Well, Cressy has thrown their hat into the ring with the Digi2, which as you've probably guessed, is a digital pressure gauge that also connects to your regulators and lets you know exactly how much gas you have left. So the Digi2 is fairly compact uh, and has the, uh, as the name suggests, is pretty much a double gauge with a few benefits over a standard analog gauge. It displays your tank pressure and depth along with your dive time, your maximum depth and more importantly, your range. Your range is basically your air time remaining in minutes. So much like a petrol gauge in a car, the analog gauge just basically tells you how much you have left in the tank. But the Digi2 combines your gas remaining, your depth and breathing rate to work out exactly how long your gas will last in minutes. So you can look at your gauge and make a more informed decision about when to ascend. If your SVG tells you that you've got 78 bar left, then yeah, great, but if it told you that you only have 10 minutes of airtime remaining, it means a bit more to you. So with a digital SPG, it'll be more accurate than an analog gauge too. Uh, analog gauges are often only accurate to about 10%, uh, and there's no sort of ambiguity. Uh, if you don't really have about 180 bar, you have 178 bar in a digital pressure gauge. But what about the battery, I hear you cry. So I don't have to change the battery in my analog gauge. Well, yeah, fine, but you do need to change the battery every 1000 hours, so that's not too bad. Or you can get yourself a smart box, which is basically a recharging cradle for the Digi2. If you're not into the uh, sort of recharging thing, then you can change the battery yourself uh, every thousand hours if you need to. Uh, and the Digi will even run a self-diagnostic pressure test to make sure that it won't leak on the next dive. So that is a very smart little feature. A silicone protective shell means that the Digi2 comes in a bunch of different colors so you can customize it to your heart's content. Um, so it's about the size of a i770R from Aqualung. Um, it's, it's, it's not a big thing, it's quite a small little console. So when you compare it to a big old um, sort of triple gauge, it, it actually works out quite small. So excluding the hose, uh, obviously as far as the size, uh, and they're due to arrive fairly shortly if they haven't already. Uh, if you want to check them out, then head over to uh, the website for more information and to sign up for notifications whilst you're there. Uh, if you really want one, then you can get an email as soon as they arrive in our warehouse. So what do you reckon? Do you like the idea of a digital pressure gauge? I think it's quite a smart idea. Uh, do you think they'll bring out a Digi3 with a compass next season? I don't see why not. A lot of dive computers are coming with compasses built in, so why not this? Uh, and do you think that this will be a growing trend with more manufacturers producing digital pressure gauges. Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.